This is Kieran from Payroll Hero Client Success. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use our Pivotable Attendance Report to calculate your gross payroll. We have tons of clients who love to use our system for time attendance and scheduling, and this report makes it easier than ever to export your attendance information for payroll calculations. For this example, we're a business that has an overtime rule that will pay an employee who works more than eight hours an additional premium for those hours worked. So, the first thing that we need to do is actually export the Pivotable Attendance Report. And how we do that is by clicking on Employees and then Employee List. Once the employee list is loaded, we'd select the employees that we want to export the attendance report for. I'm going to select them all. Um, and then we're going to use the Pivotable Attendance Report. So I want to do this for the 1st of August to the 15th of August. I run my payroll semi-monthly. So I would choose the 15th of August here, and then I would click do it. And so now the attendance report will generate. Now this might take a couple of minutes depending on um, how many employees you're actually generating the report for. Okay, and we're done. So once the report has been generated, it will automatically download. Now, I, I prefer to use Google Sheets um, as my spreadsheet uh, tool. So I've already uploaded it into Google Spreadsheets, but you could use OpenOffice or Microsoft Excel, whatever your preference is. Um, so here you can see this, this comes as an unformatted CSV. So what I like to do just ever so quickly is make it a bit more readable for myself. So um, I'm going to make the uh, header stand out a bit. Okay, um, and then I like my things centered, so I'll just center them as well. Now the clocking times, you'll see they, they come in the ISO format, which is uh, the date and time. Now the good thing with these is we can actually just highlight uh, the columns with the date timestamp and we can change that format really easily. Uh, I'm going to do it in time like so and we can see the clocking times there. Okay. Um, the report gives us some information over and above the uh, clocking times. We, we actually get the day type that was worked, where they were scheduled to work, where they actually worked. Um, and then it gives us some more data. I don't know why my mouse isn't scrolling there. Um, it gives us uh, some more data, like a breakdown of the hours actually worked. So on, on this uh, report, we have three times. We have the scheduled time, the actual time, and the resolved time. So th the scheduled time is that the hours that the employee was scheduled to work. So like if they have a schedule from 9 till 5 p.m., that would be their scheduled time. The scheduled clock in time would be 9, and the scheduled clock out time would be 5. The actual clock in and actual clock out time is the time that was recorded by our timekeeping devices. Um, and then the resolved time is the time that uh, you've either manually resolved or our automatic thresholds have resolved for you. Okay? Um, so what we can immediately do, uh, I can highlight the whole spreadsheet and I can go to uh, data and go to pivot tables. Okay? And then um, now I can immediately manage this data I can put the rows as the names, um, and then I could put uh, values in to basically show me the total times for the employees. So the uh, resolved hours, less scheduled breaks, um, and right there, I have actually got a total of all of the hours that uh, every one of my employees worked. Now, let's say that uh, these employees get uh, an hourly rate and they don't actually get any overtime. Well, I could just do the hours times by their hourly rate, and, and there I would have their, their gross payroll. It would be as simple as that. Now, you might actually want to have uh, the overtime that I spoke about uh, before. So we can do that really easily by just using some um, Excel formulas, okay? So I could do uh, regular hours. Uh, which would be the, the hours before eight hours, and then I could do overtime hours, which would be the hours after eight hours, okay? Um, so we would need to know some Excel here, 
I'm going to use an if formula to figure this out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to do if error. Um, basically, an if error formula will return whatever value I tell it to return if Excel encounters an error. Okay. Um, now the reason we're going to do this is because when when uh, the formula we type in reaches a blank cell, as you can see on some of the rows, there's there's blank rows. It would have thrown up an error, and I, I want to handle that immediately. Okay, so the if formula I want to do is if uh, the resolved hours, because that is the hours that we've decided we're going to pay. Okay, is um, greater than eight. then do that cell take away, um, sorry, make, make that um, eight. And then if it's not greater than eight, just show whatever value was in the original cell, okay? So you'll see in the next one, I have 9.33 hours and I will drag that down and it's only gonna be eight because that was the regular hours worked. So I'll just drag this down for all of the uh, cells here, okay? And then now I want to figure out what the overtime was. So the overtime is the difference between uh, the regular hours and anything over the regular hours. So what we want to do here is we want to, again, um, examine the resolved hours. So it will be the same cell. And again, if it's greater than eight, what we want to do is we want to do uh, this cell take away eight, okay? Otherwise, we just want it to be blank, okay? So now what we've done is for each day, we've separated the regular hours from our overtime hours, okay? And then when I go back into the pivot table, um, let's remove this for the time being. So we've still got our employees listed here. I can go to add values and I can choose those two new columns that we created. There's the regular hours and it's going to sum all of the regular hours. And then I want to have another column for the overtime, which will be the overtime hours there. Okay. Now, as I said before, we're making the assumption that you pay an additional amount for those hours. So um, let's just have a separate column here for the, the, the standard hourly rate. Okay, and we'll do um, Adam gets $10, Clark gets $15, uh, Jane gets $15 as well, and the rest of them get 20. Okay, um, and then it's as simple as doing equals this rate times by the uh, regular hours, and then that would give us our regular hours pay, and the best thing to do is just do regular pay, so we know what that column is. And then let's do overtime pay. Now let's say we give them 1.5 times their hourly rate. So we'll give them one and a half for any overtime hours that they rendered, okay? So in there, I would just do the hourly rate times by 1.5 and then times by the overtime hours, okay? And then we can do one last column that we'll call gross pay. And that would be the sum of both of those numbers. Oh, and, and, and again, I can just click and drag this formula down here. And there you have it. That's how easy it can be to export your attendance from your TAS only payroll hero account and turn it into payroll. For any other questions, please contact support at payrollhero.com. Thanks.